A toddler's recovering and both of his parents are in jail after deputies discovered what they call reprehensible child abuse. It's the third suspected child abuse case in our area that we've reported to you in less than a week. As WCPO 9 News reporter Courtney Francisco tells us in this case, the child made it out alive. Tucked inside the Carpenters Run subdivision, inside a Florence home, deputies say they discovered a toddler locked up alone in filth. There's been a lot of un, unimaginable conditions that this child has has lived through. Lieutenant Phil Ridgel says May 10th, the Cabinet for Health and Family Services and deputies found the four year old boy whose name they are protecting locked in a room with human feces on the wall and ceiling, a mat to use the bathroom on, a foam mat to sleep on, holes in the wall, trash and food on the floor. They immediately got him out. We're happy that we were able to intervene along with the cabinet, remove the child, get the child placed in a safe environment where he can begin a healing process. Deputies say the parents, Troy and Susan Castleteen, tried to blame the toddler for acting like an animal, said they locked him in the room for 15 hours a day so he wouldn't disturb the other children doing online classes. As of tonight, they are locked in the Boone County Jail, charged with criminal abuse. Bonds set at $500,000 each. Some of these cases around the tri-state have ended in tragic death. At least four child deaths since January here. James Hamilton, Nilo Lattimore, Lala Miller, and an unnamed two-year-old investigators found. In this Florence case, deputies say quick response to a child abuse report may have saved this child's life. Somebody who saw something firsthand and instantaneously reported it to authorities. Deputies would not give an update on the toddler's condition. They say the other children inside the home are in foster care. Reporting for WCPO 9 News, I'm Courtney Francisco.